Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to Seaborn's Kitchen. I'm Janelle from Arts by Janelle. I'm Vanessa's sister, and today I'll be taking over her channel. So, Osha was the right intro now. Um, Osha was the right intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the Seaborn's Kitchen. <laughs> I should do. Hey guys, welcome back to another video with the Seaborn's Kitchen. I'm Janelle and today I'll be taking over my sister's channel. So for today's video, we will be preparing guacamole, as I pronounce. <laughs> guacamole and chips. So it will be made from scratch. Well, we will be making it from scratch. And I believe that this is a healthy meal. So I do think that you guys should try it. And it's 100% nice. So I think that, you know, you should give it a try for real. And yeah. So just make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow our Instagram pages down below in the description. My sister's channel is, my sister's Instagram name is... The Seaborn's Kitchen and mine is Arts by Janelle. Um, so yes, please do check out my content also. I have a YouTube channel called Arts by Janelle where I do painting and drawings and also pranks and challenges, you know, fun stuff. It's like arts and entertainment, you see me? So make sure so you check it out, you see me? So hope that you enjoyed this video. And yeah, don't forget to comment if you try this. And if you do, don't forget to come back and tell me if you like it. You see me? So, enough respect. Yeah. <laughs> These are the ingredients that will be used in today's video. So, first, we're going to start off with one and a half cup of flour. We're going to pour that in a bowl. Then we have half teaspoon baking powder. We have half teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to combine it by mixing the ingredients together. So after mixing, we're going to add a 5 teaspoon oil. I'm going to mix again, ensure that the oil is mixed in the flour properly. Because we want an even distribution. Now I've incorporated the oil into the flour, so I'm going to add water and create a dough. The dough is still a little bit dry, so I'm going to add some more water and continue mixing. So you're going to cover and let the dough sit for about 5 to 10 minutes. But if you're in haste and you can't wait, well then you can go right ahead and use as is. But I let mine sit for about 15 minutes. So now I'm going to flour 
and then cut the dough into four pieces but for your recipe you'll get about eight pieces so cut it in four you're going to roll them into a ball and set aside for the next part you're going to need a rolling pin so you're going to roll the flour as thin as possible guys i must confess i was doing this totally wrong you must roll in one direction not back and forth so one direction this part is not needed i was just trying to flip the the door over <laughs> oops so you want to get it as thin as possible get a frying pan hot as hot as possible you hear that sizzling sound guys that's the sound that you want to achieve and there's no oil in the pot so you're just going to roll and then place the dough in the pan also this recipe could be used for making tartillas so you have the tartilla wrap with your vegetables, your chicken. It could be used for that, but you wouldn't you wouldn't fry it as long as I did. So you just fry it for about a couple seconds on each side. So I'm all done with four. They're crispy. They're fresh. So now we're going to move to make the guacamole. <laughs> it's time to make the guacamole and these are the ingredients needed. So first we're going to start off with half of a small onion. Half, just half. Because you only need a quarter cup of the onion, so you're going to slice thin as possible. I only need quarter cup of onion so I'm going to pour hot water and this will tone down the raw flavor of the onion just a little set aside and move to the avocado so I'm just testing it just to see if, if my finger gives in a little bit and if if it gives in a little bit you're okay you're gonna cut in half use a spoon to scrape the avocado out Moving to the other half of the avocado, I use a knife to remove the seed and using the spoon to remove the avocado once more.
I'm going to use a fork to mash the avocado. We're not going to go too crazy here because we have more ingredients to add and you want it chunky. Adding one tablespoon and a half lime juice to the avocado. We're going to crush again, but remember not too much because they want it a bit chunky. cilantro is optional because you know some people don't like the taste of cilantro so it's optional likewise the tomato so at this point i'm about to add the cilantro This is the onion that was placed in hot water at the beginning. So you're just going to drain the water and add the onion to the pear mixture. I know you guys are going to come for me regarding the salt, but I didn't use all of the salt. I just add enough to taste. Mix a little more and then we are all done. Guys. This is a healthy dish, so you can go ahead and try this dish. We're still in the pear season, so you can go ahead and try this dish. So I'm back with the chips. I'm just trying to break these chips up into bite-sized pieces. Thanks for tuning in to the Seaborn's Kitchen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support, the endless support. We appreciate the views, whether it's just viewing the video or just commenting or just subscribing. We appreciate it all. So don't forget to like this video. Hit the thumbs up button, guys. Please hit the thumbs up button. And yeah, thanks for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. And until next time, stay tuned and stay blessed. I also hope that you guys are, you know, safe during this season of like rain and all kind of things. Flood, landslides are happening, like big things are on. I just hope that you guys are safe and that you guys are staying dry. Although the sun out today, mighty. The sun out today, we're grateful for that, but you know, some places still get rain, whatever. I do hope that you guys are staying safe and staying dry.
so thanks for watching and until next time bye bye don't forget to follow my instagram page at arts by Janelle, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's also called arts by Janelle. yeah oops oh